welcome to another episode of the Foot Geeks. My name is CJ and I'm the Pedorsis here at Foot Solutions in Vancouver. Today we'll be talking about Halix Rigidus. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Now Halix Rigidus is a condition where, and I want to bring in my friend, the skeletal foot into the picture, where the first toe joint, which is a big toe joint, doesn't have the ability to move properly. Now in order for you to be able to move properly through the joint, what it really requires is about 60 degrees range of motion. Now if you can't move this joint properly and there's pain potentially on the top of the joint, then uh, oftentimes what that may lead to is also you walking funny. So you may be walking off the side of your foot and that can lead to knee pain, maybe leading to hip pain, maybe le even lead to back pain. Sometimes if you stop moving, there may be also some arthritic changes in the joint, which can potentially cause you to have pain even after the fact. So it kind of, that, that pain tends to linger on and that can be obviously a problem uh, when, uh, you know, potentially you're trying to go to sleep if you have a lot of pain in the foot. <clears throat> but um, the main uh, ways of Relieving discomfort from hallux rigidus, there's a number of different ways of doing that, is to, number one, reduce movement on the joint. Now, how can you do that? There's a, a number of different options for here. Uh, now you can use a carbon fiber plate like this one right here. So the carbon fiber plate is a super stiff plate. As you can see, it doesn't bend very much. It's really, really stiff. And the purpose of this plate is to insert that into your shoe so that the shoe itself doesn't flex through the front area and therefore there's less bending action of your toe which reduces the pain down the road. Now keep in mind that if you put something like this into your shoe you will have to have quite a bit of space inside the footwear to accommodate it. So that's definitely something that will require some additional room inside the shoes. Uh, the other way to do it is uh, offload pressure on the toe joint by putting an orthotic into your shoes. Now those orthotics you can also outfit with a Morton's toe extension. So as you can see this piece right here is an extension that gets added to the orthotic device itself so that as you're walking, just like the plate itself, it prevents the big toe joint from flexing too much. And that helps to really reduce pain on the big toe joint itself. <clears throat> And if you have pressure on the bottom of the toe joint due to the fact that, you know, there's a lot of pressure being placed in that area, the arch support will help relieve some of that pressure there as well. Now, when it comes to shoes, you do want to look for something that does have a stiff four foot rocker. So preferably you want something that doesn't flex too much in the front and it has a nice little rocker profile in the, in the forefoot area to prevent your toes from having to bend too much as you're walking. And that's really going to allow you to keep moving properly through the front of your foot without putting too much pressure on the toe joint itself. Now, if you have any questions regarding Halix Rigidus, any comments, any other ways of removing the symptoms and the pain experienced from that condition, please let us know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so right here in this little corner. And we'd love to hear from you.